Let me tell y'all some real shit, bro. Fellas, I want to talk to y'all about, like, the status level, like, with women, period. Dog, if that bitch got a... If she want to be around you just because of status, bro, they want status to make them feel established regardless. They can get that from any nigga they want to, but they choose you for that. They want all that status. They want a nigga with status, but it's too much baggage to handle. Hey, fellas, if that's too much shit, let that shit go, my nigga. Throw that bitch to the curb, bro. Fuck her. Regardless, tell her fuck her, too. Tell that whole bye. Cause she's a fucking goofy. She ain't gonna never have no real man. She gonna have a a, a boy. I don't even say a boy because it also takes a man a long time to grow from there. But at the end of the day, my nigga, how I look at this shit, some of these bitches just want niggas with status to feel established. Majority of them, they want a nigga with status to feel established. So the end of the day, the end of the day, that some of these bitches bring baggage. But if y'all niggas want to deal with that, okay. But don't don't cry, don't fuss about no bitch who got that, bro. You can get rid of her. Some of these hoes got baggage. I throw them out the window. I'm not fucking with all that shit. Because these hoes bring too much. When they come in a relationship, they only come in a relationship with you because they see a so-called so status or whatever the fuck it is. See, women hate when we be honest about them. They hate when we be honest about them. But they don't even, they look at everything at their perspective, never ours. See, they, it's always there. They think that we can do the same shit they can do. Retarded as fuck is not going that way. It never was that way. So the end of the day, like I said, a woman can walk in a room with thousands of niggas and have a fat ass and get touched. She can get fucked by every one of them niggas because of her ass. It's not about her face at this point. Because when niggas look at, when niggas see a woman with a fat ass, that's automatically what turns them on. I don't know if it's just me, but I know I know niggas personally. That Every nigga I know personally, it ain't even got to be the bitch face. It can be average. It can be average, right? You walk in the room, she walk in the room with all them niggas and she got a fat ass. That's what attract them niggas. That's what they really want. So understand, as fellas, we can't complain about shit that we are attracting. It is what it is at the end of the day. Whatever we choose to attract, that's on us. You feel me? That's why I be telling y'all, bro, if that bitch, if she, some women be mad, they make you feel less of a man because you can't buy them a Chanel purse or Birkin Dior, all this extra goofy shit. Let me tell you something. If that's how that bitch feel, you shouldn't be with her, bro. Fuck her. Regardless, tell that bitch roll off a bridge. All these hoes like it's money, my nigga. Certain shit will not come in that caliber. If you caliber, if you ain't got that type woman that can stand by you by anything, bro, and, and sacrifice with you and be there with you, you shouldn't be with that bitch. I'm telling you. It is what it is. And this is what I mean by accept you for who you are. You got some dog ass niggas out here, but they ain't become dogs for no reason, fellas. You got niggas who just ain't putting up with fuck shit because women, I'm telling y'all, one thing you, you draw your line with is respect. If a bitch disrespects you, she deserves to be disrespected. If she disrespects you and she don't respect you, she deserves to be disrespected regardless of how it is. Fuck all that. She a girl. No, fuck that hoe. Regardless, because... If whatever you did for her, and she and she crossed that ultimate line, because Sweetie did it with Quavo. When she crossed that ultimate line, she deserves to be disrespected in a worse way. I'm telling you. It's a difference between bitches, queens, hoes, and tricks. A total difference. That's why I say bitches, tricks, and hoes get it automatically. They get the issue, period. It don't matter what it is. Them the type bitches that call their brother when they out hoeing. When they out hoeing, they call their brother on you. Because their brother don't know what they out here doing. You feel me? Their brother don't know anything. He just know, oh, this is my sister. No, I'm not that type of nigga. Because I know women and I know how they act. Because I've been raised around them my whole fucking life. So I know. It come to a point where you have to be as a man and be like, oh, no, something right here going wrong, my nigga. I ain't about to just fuck this dude up because you telling me to. This your baggage at the end of the day. You and that nigga beefing because of something. It's like, see, it's, cer it's certain shit as a man. We cannot just go off rage because a woman tell us to. No. you. If you a real man, first you have a conversation with a man to be like, what the fuck happened? What went on? How did this go about? You feel me? Because we so quick to win. Oh, that nigga put his hands on you. I'm on that way to come. Bro, we always like that, bro. And that shit is retarded. We ready to put our hands on a nigga for nothing over a situation we don't know about because our sister just telling us this. Some or our aunties or somebody. When they keep messing with these type of niggas, that'd be their fault. So why put yourself in front of that? I'm telling you, man. A lot of women have baggage, my nigga. It's either you let that shit go or you keep that shit and you deal with that bitch. How you gonna deal with that hoe? Because regardless... 
disrespect her regardless because then you know she a hoe she deserve to be disrespected because these bitches got a problem they want to be treated like a queen and they don't have no calibers of a queen they pussy is a dungeon everything about them is terrible they fucking attitude just they present stink it's just certain bitches like that who presents just stink bro I don't know what nobody want me to tell them, but this is real life. 100% of these hoes get their glamour off social media, lies, feeling like they're an entrepreneur because they put their pussy on social media. All the weirdo shit. It just, bro, this internet shit got the world fucked up, bro. That's why I be telling y'all the red, red pill is mandatory. No matter what any nigga go through with a woman, because we all still going through it, bro. Regardless, because bitches feel like they supposed to be in our presence. They feel like if we ain't, if they not in our presence, we ain't shit. Yeah, bro. Bitch, when did it come be okay for you to say that I ain't shit because you ain't in my presence? You feel like for me to be a good nigga or me to be the type of nigga I want to be, I need you in my presence. That's how these bitches make it saying. I'm going to tell y'all the funny shit, though. The funniest shit that ever happened to me. This whole text me and told me that if I, she said, when she texted me, it was like this. You text me, you said, yada, 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 so on, so on. I'm like, okay, whatever the fuck you talking about. You basically said to me that... If I didn't text you back, that would have been my loss. But bitch, you come with baggage. That don't make sense. So basically, you saying if I didn't text you back, I would have you, I would have made a loss. But what type of bitch like you needed to be text back though? You don't need a text back from no man because you toxic, you drama fired, you got too many niggas you suck dick on. You are so tired of every nigga you fuck. I don't believe you. Ain't no nigga gonna believe in no woman like that. You but you you expect to trust a woman who for the streets. She get mad when you tell her this. Like you keeping it, you're for the streets, baby. Like it ain't nothing, ain't nothing to talk about. Your pussy have been slipped through by a bunch of niggas. A bunch of niggas have went through that. It's just being honest. Like you tell, like you you don't take care of yourself. That's one. Tell women the truth, fellas. Tell them the truth. If you got a certain type of bitch that you know that's weird, tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. You don't take care of yourself. You come with baggage and you try to make my life a living hell. Bitch, you got to go. Regardless. Because some of these bitches feel like they have the 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 integrity and all the, all the aggressiveness to come to you and just come in your situation and take over. You got to put that shit in check with hoes. Because a lot of them feel like if you ain't buying them a D Dior, Gucci, Louis, all this extra shit to keep them. See, women have agendas when they get with us, bro. Regardless of what they feel, they want a guy with money, a guy with status, a guy with rank. Bitches always say it ain't about money, but how is it not about money? Because you wouldn't get with a nigga if he was broke. I'm just a messenger here. Personally, I'm just a messenger here. A lot of bitches wouldn't get with no nigga if they was broke. If, if it was a guy, even if he had a million dollar plan, I just said this in my last video. If he had a million dollar plan to get somewhere, you wouldn't stay with that nigga. You wouldn't stay with him. You would not stay with him. So it's like the end of the day, you can say what you want to. That's why I tell fellas, focus on you. Focus on everything you got to. No matter what woman you ever been through a situation with, just focus on you, bro. Because it's easier. It's easier in this set in stone to do what you have to do. It's easier. It's way easier to understand who you are. You sitting back reflecting on yourself, meditating, understand who you are, catching sun, doing what you got to do. Fellas, just love yourself regardless because... Women are going to be women at the end of the day. This women's society, bro, it Carly B, Megan, all these hoes who tell them to do this, but these the same bitches that got men, right? They the same hoes that got men, so basically they lying to you. And this is why I say music is a vibration, bro. Regardless of what niggas may think, it's a vibration. It is a very big vibration of everything that goes on in our world. Like, it's a, you ever catch a feeling of listening to a certain person and it might make you depressed or it might make you feel like this? Fellas, I'm telling you, that shit is real, bro. When you catch that drift, it really make you feel like that. But peace, follow me at Actual Truth. Follow me at TGE.Truth. Like, comment, subscribe to Actual Truth. Peace.